Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Jeremy Redman Task Magic, where we help you with Task Magic. This demo is one that's been asked for for so long, um, but we found it. Uh, found it. We did it. <laughs> Kyle did it. After I spank Kyle, and Kyle said, uh, spank's not appropriate. If I tell Kyle, man, we got to get this done, man, we got to get this done, man, we got to get this done. <laughs> and Kyle goes, okay, 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 okay. I've got 80 other things to do. Okay. <laughs> But videos are important. Demos are important. We're going to be launching a course that will help everyone know how to build and show people how to build so that you can make more money off of affiliates um, or affiliate revenue. So you get 20% of everyone. Everyone can do that passively right now, by the way. Um, but so make sure to subscribe and like this video. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you like more time, time saving tips, um, using automation and making money tips too. I don't know. Just, just hit that subscribe. You'll be in that bell to be notified. But in this video, we go over how to send WhatsApp messages via the web. Um, so you can essentially now automate your messages, right? From your phone. This is never before. Could you do this? I don't think. All right. So you can, we show you in this demo this how-to on how to automate WhatsApp, which you connect to your cell phone, right? And it, cause it's your phone number and then you can send messages. So that's pretty cool. So check this out. And again, make sure say hi in the comments. We appreciate you hit like and subscribe. Hey everyone. So we are going to set up a quick WhatsApp um, automation that is going to be sending text messages to new rows added to our Airtable base. So I am going to set up our Airtable connection here. I think I need to make a new connection. So we'll go through that process. Um, and we're going to set up this trigger in the apps builder in case you wanted to add any additional logic here, like the uh, like filter branch or any sort of stuff going on. Um, and then it's going to use the task magic action to tell the task magic automation to go and send the text message. So let me go ahead and add a phone number here. I'm just going to say random. And then this is the most recent person to send a fake text. So I'm just going to grab this one. If I can copy from here. And we'll do this. So I'm just going to text sending to this phone number because why not? Um, you guys are welcome to as well. If you want to reach out to USPS, I guess. Uh, but anyways, in apps.taskmagic, we will set up our connection. I'm going to set up a new connection so you guys can see that process if you haven't already. We go to our Airtable account. We can click the right icon here and then um, developer hub. And then we will create a new token. And this is just going to be like apps connection, whatever we want. We need to give it read and write access to the records. And then I think we need the schema.bases read as well. These are the only three you'll need to add. And then you need to select the base that it needs access to, which I forgot. Um, one second. Okay. Apps flow. So we're giving it access to this workspace. Um, we can see our, I guess you can't see your workspaces there. That's odd. Okay. Your workspace will be in the top corner here. Um, just make sure it has access to at least the base you're working with. You can add as many bases as you, as you would like. Then you're going to create this token, take that back to apps.taskmagic and paste it here. When you save this, it should show that it was successful or at least just not error. Um, and we can move on to selecting the rest of the things. So I'll select the base apps flow and then the table is leads. So we'll grab this and then we can grab, click load data and this will grab the most recent record. So we'll see name is random and phone number is this one. Next, um, I'm not going to add any conditional logic in here, um, but I'm just going to go straight to a task magic action and we will begin setting this up. So we can enter a couple of things here. That's all that really matters. Now let's go ahead and build the WhatsApp side of things. First, I don't know the URL for WhatsApp. It's going to be web.whatsapp.com. So we'll say start a new guided recording. Um, we've been talking about a couple of people have brought up this flow. 
uh, specifically with adding cookies. And I'm curious what you guys would rather do because I also get annoyed doing this. Um, but with adding cookies, we're gonna go ahead and add this first step, save that, and then we're gonna say we're done here. We can go back to WhatsApp, grab our cookies, come back to Task Magic, and add this. Then when we record this again, um, this will, I'm gonna move this out of the way. This will open up WhatsApp with us already logged in. We can go ahead and start recording. So I'll record clicking here and then new message icon. I can click play to just test this really quick. Then we will record a type step. I'll click here. I'm going to paste that phone number that I had. And then we can record a click step of this phone number. Uh, maybe I don't know if it's phone number or contact, which is going to be more reliable for you guys, but obviously depending on your situation. Uh, and then we can click play, and then I'll record a type step. Let's move this to the top. Yes, here is my bank account info. Confirm. And then we can record a type step um, on this send button. We'll confirm that. And then we can test that. Perfect. And we are done. So this is the WhatsApp sending text part. Now all we need to do is connect the apps builder to this automation. So what I will do is we'll click setup trigger and then webhook. And then we're going to copy this webhook right here and go back into apps.taskmagic, paste it here. And we need to tell it the phone number is going to be from Airtable here. And then let's tell it the name. Whoops, I mixed this up. Let's make this one name, this one phone. And we can insert this. Cool. So now if we test this step, this is going to send the data to this webhook, which would be starting our automation uh, if it was turned on. Since it isn't, this data was sent here. We'll click check for new events, and then we'll select the only record that we've sent and we'll see the phone number and the name. If I save that, we can then update our typing step here to use the phone number. And then we could edit our message to say, you know, appreciate your time name. Oh, that cleared it. Nice bug. Okay, I'll get that fixed before this video goes live, but you guys get to see me randomly finding bugs of ours. That's great. Jeremy will hate this, but that's okay. Anyways, let me know if you guys have any issues. Um, this bug will be gone before the video is live. I uh, appreciate it.